welcome to today's edition of Layoff and Employment News by Employment Boost. Today's date is Thursday, September 28th, 2023. If you're an individual affected by a layoff or if you're a company facing a reduction in force, click the link above now or in the description box below for more information about our firm's outplacement support services and how we can help you as an individual land on your feet faster and get into a new job as quickly as possible or as an organization, how we can smooth the layoff process and assist with your reduction in force. Now on to today's headlines. Snap Inc., the company behind Snapchat, announced a layoff of 170 staff members yesterday via a note sent by CEO Evan Spiegel to all employees. In it, Spiegel discussed the setbacks of Snap's approach to augmented reality and the subsequent layoff of nearly everyone on their augmented reality enterprise team. Spiegel did say that the company would try to rehire the laid off into new roles when possible, so somewhat less than that 170 number might actually be leaving Snap. All of the impacted personnel will receive severance packages and outplacement support. Moog Music, an Asheville, North Carolina-based synthesizer company, announced layoffs late yesterday. No information was given on the number of layoffs, but the company did state that the assembly team was impacted as they are now outsourcing the finishing assembly process to overseas vendors. Moog is doing this for cost savings purposes, stating specifically long-term financial health in their statement. Moog also said substantial benefits, support, and health care would be offered to impacted personnel. Finally, St. Norbert College, located in De Pere, Wisconsin, announced that 41 staff members are being laid off. A spokesperson said 29 employees were immediately impacted, and the other 12 will be let go either at the end of the semester, the end of the academic year, or at the end of 2024. The spokesperson also said that the industry has been disrupted and that rising costs of a post-secondary education are a barrier to many students, so the college is trying to optimize the tuition dollars of students. 